program is brought to you in living color. This is the county, Queen Anne's County, Maryland. 372 square miles between the Delaware State Line and the Chesapeake Bay. Home to over 49,000 people and countless visitors at numerous restaurants, bars, and other businesses. At times, a small few break the law. And that's when I'm called. I carry a badge. Persons you're about to see are profiled or real, and their names have not been changed as they all have outstanding warrants for their arrest. It's July 2013, and we're working violation of probation warrants. My partner is you, the public. My name is Sheriff Gary Hoffman. Many are given probation to receive a suspended sentence or a second chance. Most complete the time and go on to productive lives, but a few fail to obey the terms, and the court wants them back before a judge. Norva Lee Burroughs, 61-year-old African-American female. Original arrest stems from multiple thefts at the Queenstown outlets. Pled guilty to a theft charge and served two months of an 18-month sentence. After being released, no contact with her has been made. Her last known address was 2609 Loyola South Way, Baltimore, Maryland. She's 5 foot 2 inches tall and weighs 110 pounds. Jonathan Michael served in Yak. A violation of probation warrant was issued after he failed to pay fines and supervision fees on a disorderly conduct charge. He failed to appear on court on May 26th. He's a 24-year-old white male, 5 foot 11 inches tall, weighs 135 pounds. He has blonde hair and blue eyes. He sometimes goes by the name John Servignac. Last known address was Petunia Drive in Easton, Maryland. He has a caution code for resisting arrest. If you have any information on Mr. Servignac, please contact local authorities as soon as possible. Remember, your anonymous tips are also appreciated. Barry Emery Williams. Williams was found guilty on a controlled dangerous substance possession charge from 2009 during a traffic stop. In 2011, a violation of probation warrant was issued by district court. After failing to obey all laws and not notifying his probation agent of new charges, the warrant was issued. Williams' last known address was Greenwood, Delaware. Williams is an African-American male, 5 foot 7 inches tall, about 165 pounds. He's 48 years old. In addition to the charges here in Queen Anne's County, he is also wanted by Delaware authorities. Wanda Lee Fisher. Fisher is a white female. She's 56 years old. Wanda has been previewed on our show before. Any information you have is greatly appreciated on her whereabouts. She's been wanted on a violation of probation warrant for a controlled dangerous substance conviction charge in August of 2011. Probation violations included not reporting to her probation agent, moving without notifying and failing to complete drug and alcohol counseling. Fisher's five foot, she's 125 pounds. She could be seen with blonde hair and blue eyes. In the past, she's lived in Ridgely and Waterman's Court in Graysonville. She's also known to stay at various campsites and parks. Wanda Fisher has also used the name of Wanda Tisdale. If you have any information on her whereabouts, please contact local authorities or send me an anonymous tip. I want to take this time to thank all of our viewers on Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. At the end of every show, this is one of the best parts to tell you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of your anonymous tips, your Facebook messages, and your views on YouTube in keeping our community much safer. A recent capture is Antonio Curtis Bell. He was wanted on a violation of probation charge stemming from a CDS conviction in 2011. He was arrested on July 3rd by Metro Transit Police near Oxon Hill, Maryland. Again, a special thanks to all of our viewers here on Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted, those viewers on YouTube, Queen Anne's County Commissioners, and QAC TV 7. Special thanks to all of you helping us keep Queen Anne's County a much safer place by watching Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.